Howdy folks, welcome back to another episode of Sailing Slow Motion. You can tell by the angle here that we're up to something just a little bit different this morning. So today I had coffee with my dad and as we were sitting in his living room watching Everglades Challenge videos, I started to get that fear building back inside of me. And the reason why was a lot of the videos we watched were of the rough waves, the capsizing, the demasting, like all the negative stuff that could happen on the race. And really that's what makes the best video, right? I mean, if it's nice and beautiful, it's fun to watch, but it's not that exciting. So I was thinking about reefing down the main sails when stuff gets rough. And the problem with the wind rider is you can't let go of the tiller for more than, you know, just a couple seconds. Once you let go, the boat just wants to start doing something. On slow motion, I have an auto tiller and it works great. I can just push the button and the boat does its thing. I can go make coffee or do whatever. So I thought, I wonder if I could put that on this boat. So that way, when things are getting rough and I need to put a reef in the sail and it's too bad to turn into the wind or do anything different, but I need to let go of the tiller for a moment, it'd be awesome to be able to push the tiller button and have it steer the straight course while I'm able to do something else. So not to use it a lot, but just for, you know, a couple minutes at a time. So I have this PVC pipe here for my tiller rod and it's a push pull, which is how, you know, the auto tillers work on a regular tiller. It's pushing it, you know, starboard to port where this is forward to aft. So you just got to reverse that, right? So what I'm thinking of doing is if I mount the tiller up here, somehow right here and then mounted to the tiller rod so this pvc is our tiller rod here is our simrad so what i'm thinking is if i find a way to bolt this here like make a drill a hole and have it set in there and then have this attached to the pvc pipe with the post then it can drive the same forward and back would be the same left to right right so what we have is, you know, a thin hull that we're going to drill through to have this post go through at the end of the Simran, the auto tiller. And it's going to have to be stable enough to hold the, for the driving force of the actuator. So I can't just drill a hole and have it drop in there because it's going to wear itself out. So I need to find a way to make a bushing that is going to set in there. So there is one on slow motion already but that one's sealed in i don't want to use that so i'm gonna have to come up with some some sort of drop-in post for for that to fit after digging around slow motion's box of goodies there's just parts that i've been piling up over the years i found this little like tube connector with the brass end i think if i take that brass end off then that whole diameter is the same as the post on the simrad so I should be able to mount this and have the Simra drop right in there. It might work. Okay, placing the fitting in the vise, I found a drill bit that is the same diameter as the post on the Simrad. So it's a very tight fit, so I'm just going to run that through, get down to the, the brass fitting on the end and mark it, and then I'm going to separate all this apart and then drill through the brass. I don't want to drill it connected to the plastic piece because it'll I don't want it to get hot and melt anything. So that's the next step. Okay, now that we have a nice hole through the center, we're gonna just countersink it just a little bit. Okay, so the brass piece fits on there nice and snug. It slides up and down pretty well. But the plastic piece, take the washers off, the plastic piece here is, when I run the drill bit through it, it's just kind of just moving it out of the way. But it gets really snug, which I guess is okay. I mean, snug is good. To attach the other end of the Simrad to the actual tiller, what we have to work with is this little post. So what I'm thinking is I will take an Allen key and mount that to the tiller facing forward on the boat. 
and then just clamp it on with two clamps and that way it'll be able to drive forward and then pull back in and work the tiller that way and then i will use some hair ties to like kind of scrunch this post to the tiller so it doesn't just pop off real easy back on the boat i'm looking at the best placement for this what i'm gonna have to do is put the hatch cover on and make sure i have enough space here because a lot of times i do like to have the hatch cover on especially in rougher water so i think it's gonna have to mount somewhere right around here yeah with the hatch cover on i have a little bit of clearance right here just enough that's all i need so i will mark it there and drill and mount this with some 5200 sealant to make sure it doesn't leak okay it may look a little crude but I have the hose clamps holding the Allen key down and then I took a zip tie and went around my bungee so now I have a little handle so I can grab that. So and not in use. It could either be stowed or it could be at the ready and this will be able to slide around and not interfere with anything. And then this is neutral right here. So then when I want to put that on, this would be easier with two hands, I can just pull that up and voila now it's secured on there well I guess not that tight but it's pretty tight but just the actuation of this isn't going to pop that off I don't think so now we just need to get a power source and then do a test run so almost done the wiring was pretty simple we just drilled a hole ran the wire out did a nice little coil here and then attach it to the battery so pretty simple and then I'll show you the front Okay, so our plug is just mounted off to the side here. So this will plug in right there. So we just plugged it in there and we have indication on the screen. So we are good. I do need to get a bag to put this in so no water spray comes up on it. I know these, uh, oh, mine's Raymarine, not Simrad, but the, both of them, Raymarine and Simrad, they don't like to get wet. So I will have that in a protective bag of some sort. So, but everything looks attached. I say we try and paddle out of the channel a little bit and see if it holds a course. Okay, so we got a little bit of a crosswind here. So this would be a good, good time to test it, I guess. But I just need to get the boat pointed in the direction I want and then see how quickly I can hook up the auto tiller. So this looks like a good, spot here just a little more angle so go like this bring it to here i think it's in all right so we change course a little Let's see what happens. all right making adjustments So yeah, it's doing it. It's just slow, but like in the channel, I don't know if we have enough speed for it, but it is, it is working. This is awesome. All right. But we do have proof of concept. We just need to go a little bit faster before we really try it out. Make sure we're on a straight tap. So I'm gonna try it again. Let's see how quickly I can do this. I think I was angled a little, little to starboard there. Let's see what it does. I would say it works. <laughs> Woo, this is awesome. Man, it's like I got a, a partner on board now. My brother-in-law was supposed to come along. You just have to call the auto tiller Jim Tones. That's not his real name, but it's a likeness of his name. <laughs> the auto tiller for the Everglades Challenge will be known as Jim Tones. Okay, we have turned around and we're just going to see how it does in the crosswinds. And I got it positioned pretty much 
dead on to where I want to go. So we'll see if it can keep us pointed all the way to the end of the channel. It's probably, you know, 200 yards or so. It's not real far. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy with what we have, our proof of concept here. I do wish the motor would power just a little bit faster, but because in the channel, you know, it's making these turns like this, like a snake, but it's, it is correcting and we are going down the center of the channel. So it's working. This is gonna be great when we get out on the water. We're doing like a long run. I can stop, I can, like if everything is calm, get out, have lunch. Oh, also with the battery consumption, which is obviously gonna be a concern, I was doing some research earlier today and what I found was that these auto tillers on a 25 amp hour battery, you'll get eight to 10 hours of runtime out of them. So I will bring a spare battery just in case the solar can't keep up. And I definitely won't be running for eight to 10 hours. You know, it'll be just little breaks, like a five minute break or a 10 minute break. So, or just to help me when the current is strong. So I don't see any issues with anything. I think it's gonna work out great. So anyway, tomorrow we're taking this out. We're gonna do a sail. I got one of my friends is coming out on his boat, get some pictures of the boat in action. And tomorrow's supposed to be a really nice day. I just got a time to tide tides right. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, oh, please, if you are liking my videos, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you all tomorrow. So, but I can't overpower it, which is a problem. Well, now I freaked it out. So yeah, really used for... Used for a little faster pace, I think, but... Maybe in a channel wasn't the best place to practice for the very first time, but uh, we made it. No bumps. An inch is a mile if you miss, right? <laughs> so.